Um, and also I don't think I've talked about therapy on here, but Dana. I know. Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Um, last night to bed for pajamas, I wore my Jonas Brothers t-shirt that I got on Redbubble, and it's my literal favorite thing I own. Um, today is probably gonna be a little bit more of a work day since yesterday was more of a fun day and we're getting into finals, but yeah, it should still be um, a fun day, a chill day. Here is my outfit of the day. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna be a sweats type of day because we gotta get some work done and I wanna be comfortable. I just finished doing some work in West Union. I'm a little exhausted, uh, but I think I'm going to do some editing and then hopefully just relax for a little bit and like watch something um, and pick up on more work later. Sounds just like a song. I just finished editing my video that just went up and I was gonna take a nap but I really need to do work and also I'm super late meeting Holly to do work so I'm going to go to West Union and get some food and then we're just gonna power through some stuff. I am back from doing work in the same corner I was before um, and I have a really cozy setup to hopefully watch some of other people's vlogs or a movie or something like that I don't know I'm just feeling like very burnt out um and so I'm hoping like a couple hours of just like relaxing will help me reset so tomorrow I can uh, really get to like studying and focusing. Here's my setup. I have this pink like really fuzzy like beautiful blanket that I got at Pier 1. They have like my favorite blankets in the world. I'm my mom knows this but I'm obsessed with Pier 1 like I can't even tell you. Um, I have my little laptop here to watch things. Um, <laughs> I have this little stuffed animal that Betsy got me uh, I think it was last semester when I sprained my ankle and I was on crutches. She brought me this pink sloth, which is my favorite color, my favorite animal, as like a get well soon present. And it was so sweet. Um, and then I have like all my little lights above me turned on and my little tree. Um, and yeah, I just, I really like this corner because it's like more enclosed than the rest of the room. Especially because of this like slanted wall and like this wall's kind of closer. So, I don't know. I just like... I like it, and I feel like it's like a really cozy vibe for tonight. Showtime. I'm watching season six of The Great British Baking Show, and they're making biscuit chandeliers, and I'm so stressed. <laughs> terrifying. Hello. So I spent a lot of the day today doing work, I would say. Um, and so I didn't do a lot of interesting things today, but I thought I would just like sit and like have a little talk back, and that would be like fun, and just talk about like myself and things going on in my life and things like that. Um, also, uh, for relaxation, I have this blanket around me. My name is Slinky from my last video. And then I have a cup of tea. I have chamomile with honey in it. And I put it in this little mug that's from Starbucks. And it has, like, little logos from California all over it, which is where I'm from. Um, and yeah, it just, it makes me really happy. I got it from my mom. So, as it is December, um, and I've heard a lot of things like, around school about like, oh, this is the last time this is gonna happen this decade, this is the last time this is gonna happen this decade. Like, that's terrifying and it just made me think a lot about like the year ending and it's not even the end of December yet. It's not even the middle of December yet, but um, I just kind of wanted to like reflect on like my plans I have um, for the next year uh, because 
I don't know I, I there's a lot of like big things coming and I maybe that just never stops once you read a certain age like milestones just never stop coming next semester I will be still on campus um, so I will be it will be my second semester of my sophomore year I'll be most likely living in the same room I have a single I don't have a roommate and I will be taking five and a half courses technically um, one of them is like a research class so it, or a research course so it's me getting credit for like research I'm doing with faculty because I'm not getting paid for it um, and then I'm getting a half credit um, taking a Pilates class which I really like because I'd already be taking like workout classes anyway and it's nice to have something built into your schedule that like you can go to and usually there's not a lot of Pilates mat and ball classes regularly scheduled so I don't I don't know it's just it's just nice to have something to have and like accountability if I don't have like a person to go to me to go with me to like the regular classes that I usually go to uh, the classes I'm taking are uh, the gateway course for my major which is environmental science and policy marine megafauna uh, which is essentially just about like big like marine animals um, I'm taking a film class and then I'm taking an Italian class also, I, I just had this moment of realization where I also realized I have to declare my major this year. Um, and I was planning on doing that over winter break because we have to do like a write-up thing and say like what classes we'll be able to take to complete it. Um, but that's wild to me that like, because we're done, we're done with this semester in a week that I'll be filling out stuff to declare my major. Like, that, that's insane. And like... I don't know, I've pretty much known what I've wanted to major in since I got here, but there's always like little background things about maybe you should double major in this or minor in this, um, which I haven't really figured out yet. So it's kind of scary that I got to tell Big Duke like what, I, what I'm here for. Also, like I told you guys, I'll be assisting for a class called Acting for the Camera, which I think will be absolutely amazing. And um, the person I'm like work assisting is like the be one of the best professors I've had here, which I, I think is going to be amazing. Um, yeah, this summer I applied for a program to go to Bologna, Italy and study there for six weeks. I don't, it, it, it just seems absolutely amazing because I've wanted to go to Italy my whole life. So I'm waiting to hear back about that. If that doesn't end up working out, there's like environmental internships I have my eye on that give you stipends, which would be really nice because it would, I'd be able to like work over the summer and also get like experience. So I know whatever, I don't know, it's whatever happens, I, it's going to work out. And then for my fall semester of my junior year, this one's a little dicey because um, the spring semester of my junior year, I know what I'm doing and I'm not gonna be physically like here on Duke's main campus. It's really hard because I'm trying to decide whether I should stay on campus um, and not be gone for the full year or be gone for the full year and do one of two programs. So there's a program through Duke that goes to New York where you can study visual media studies and theater and like arts um, in New York. And so you take three classes and then you also do an internship while you're there. And so it's this interesting thing of it being like a really enticing program t to me, but uh, not necessarily being directly associated with my major. Um, and then I also just found out about this program that is in South Africa and it's like it's a program approved by my college not run by my college it's all about ecology and conservation and it's essentially getting to do all of this crazy field work in South Africa I don't know it's it seemed absolutely incredible so it, it's interesting because I don't really <laughs> I need to start making decisions of what I'm gonna do but I don't really know yet and so we're like figuring that out I, I think I think sophomore year is just a year of like like I'm trying to figure it out like I'm scrambling like I think that's what the vibe I've gotten from a lot of my friends too like in dating life in social life in academic life in like identity it's like it's like I'm tr I'm trying trial and error this is the time thank you guys so much for watching I am going to head to bed in my Jonas Brothers t-shirt but I appreciate you tuning in I'll see you tomorrow bye Hello, hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. Um, I am showered because I actually might be having a date today. 
and so I wanted to look nice. Uh, so I'll also be doing my makeup, but then because I might have something like in the middle of the day, I'm going to do my makeup uh, super quick now and then have to kind of rush and like really be productive with work. Uh, so yeah, that's what I have going on so far and I'm gonna put my makeup on. It's such a gloomy day today. All right, my makeup is done. I tried to go for something really like natural today, but like really soft. So I'm gonna put in some earrings and then I'm gonna pack my bag and get some breakfast and start studying. All right, people, here is what we are sporting today. This teddy jacket, I've already shown you, but I got it on Amazon. I wear it all the time because it feels like a blanket. And then I have this like long sleeve cropped Duke it's like, it's like a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's also like a kind of thick material. It says Duke, and it also has like a navy blue hood and pla uh, navy blue sleeves. And then my high-waisted and Taylor jeans and some white Converse. I have these um, gold hoops I got from Icing, I think. And then you can kind of see but the rings that I'm wearing. Um, this one's from Target, and it's broken, but it kind of looks cool missing half the stone. And then the rest of them are from H&M. Hello, I'm doing this in public, which is terrifying, but while I was studying, well, while I was writing a paper that's essentially like fix climate change, <laughs> which I've been wanting to work for for a while, work on for a while, um, I got a notification that <laughs> I had therapy in a half hour <laughs> and I was not anywhere close to the location I should have been. Um, so I texted Lisa, my therapist, and is like, I'm so sorry, <laughs> I'm coming. Um, and so I'm walking there right now, <laughs> but I was already working on a really stressful paper and then I had this moment of panic that was like, oh no, I have to go right now. Um, so that's where I'm headed. Um, I don't know how that's gonna affect like how I feel going into a date. Like that's like a weird set of mind to go into something with. Um, but hopefully it'll be like a productive session and hopefully I'll go out of it feeling good. I don't know, <laughs> hoping for the best. <laughs> So I just came from therapy and I thought I was gonna feel really bad afterward, but it was actually so helpful. And I'm just feeling a lot better. <laughs> we talked a lot about the date today and me being anxious about it. And I just feel so much better going into it. Um, and also I don't think I've talked about therapy on here, but I try to be really transparent with the fact that I go. Yeah, it was good. So we're live. Oh. <laughs> so I was gonna tell Holly about a couple like love centric. This is too frozen for me. To... <laughs> How are you? <laughs> so I've been on this dating app called Bumble, which is which is a really amazing app in some ways because it lets women make the first move and it's less like hookup-y than Tinder. It's a lot more like relationship-y, which is more what I'm just personally looking for. And I have two stories related to that today. Mm. Um, so first of all, there'll be a story later about a guy that I've been talking to. Is it the ghost? There's a ghost. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. It's the ghost of my bad, my bad first date. It's <laughs> the ghost of relationships past. past. <laughs> There's a guy, oh, this is so good. 
there's a guy I've been like regularly talking to, but there's also a different guy. Mm. Um, Cause I just start, I just started like texting people just to keep my options open. And there was this guy that I was like, I just texted a couple times last night and he just like didn't respond like the last one. Um, but he's like into how I met your mother and stuff like that. And we had like little bits and he seemed really nice and it was cute. So I was walking on East campus to the bus and I had one headphone in and I mm. thought I heard Dana. <laughs> but I wasn't but I wasn't sure and I was like there's no way I don't see anyone I know so I just kept walking and then I I got to the bus stop waiting for the bus and I see this person approaching who is this guy that I was talking to last night hold up pause no one has ever seen someone from a dating app and thought it'd be good <laughs> now is the time we should meet in person especially considering he didn't answer and then he goes Dana? It's not like you guys are friends. <laughs> That's so funny. Isn't that weird? And then he was like doing that thing where he was like on his phone not doing anything if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So just like would all like tunnel vision into his phone. And I was like there's no no one's doing that much on their phone. Mm -hmm. And we were riding the bus and I was going to study at the Ruby so I pulled the thing for the Ruby and I started mm -hmm. to get up as we approached the stop. Wait, question. Yeah. So he said hi Dana. I'm assuming when he came so he was behind me. And so I, you ignored him the first time because you didn't think of anything. Yeah. Well, no, I just didn't realize anyone yeah, had called my totally. name. And then at bus stop, when you noticed it was him, did you say anything? No. Okay. Because I. He say it took us. No, it took okay. a second to process. I was like, I'm gonna get on the bus as soon as possible. Um. So I got on the bus. I also like wasn't completely sure it was him. I was like, oh, he has totally. like cute short red hair. Like, mm -hmm. oh, that might be him. Mm -hmm. um, then when we were on the bus, I was like, oh, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> it simply could not be anyone else. I was like, that is Nathan. <laughs> so we, <laughs> so we, uh, I like get off the thing. I was like, finally, I'll get off this bus to get onto the Ruby. And then when we approach the stop, he also starts to move towards no. the door. Yes. And I jump off of that bus and I'm walking towards the door and he's slightly behind me, but I'm not holding the door for him. No, you cannot. <laughs> and so I walked in, I went to the Ruby to go to this like study thing that the, the Ruben Sign Art Center to go to the study thing. I go in and I put my bag down and I turn around to go get a cookie and he's there. Oh my god. And so I god. walk up to go get a cookie but it's this small table and there's a girl in front of him. So we're just standing next to each other waiting to get coffee and a cookie. And then I go on my phone Dana. a little bit. I know. I know. And then I go on my phone a little bit just to make it less awkward. And then yeah, I look, you know. and then I look up, and he's like gone to the side to get his cookie, so I could come up, and I just go, Holly, I just go up to the table and just go, and then I get a cookie, and then no, I leave. Oh, that's the worst thing. <laughs> I know. The thing is, it's like I just felt so uncomfortable not knowing if it was him or not. Totally. That I I missed my window of being a good person. <laughs> uh, maybe it wasn't him. <laughs> He That's also so said funny. he said actor was in his like bio, and so like it would make sense he would know where the ruby, the was. ruby was. And he also his so he his age said eighteen, so I think he was a first year. Totally. So there's a lot of math that I would say adds that up. That works out totally. Um, <laughs> um, wow, that could have that couldn't have gone worse. <laughs> All of this keeping in mind that I was already nervous about a date I have with a different person I met on Bumble later in the day. How have you met every single bee of Bumble? <laughs> day? Bumble. Also, I, I when he called my name, I was on my way back from therapy and I was like, is this what I need right now? <laughs> I was like, is God really like, let me send a curveball? So yeah, that was that. <laughs> Not that you're feeling emotionally vulnerable. Let's just, let's just play with it a little. What are the odds? So we had that. Mm -hmm. And then I was supposed to meet this other guy, ideally at two or three. Then he said, oh, I'm sorry, I have like a presentate, like an evaluation thing. Um, can we do, but it's at, that's at 2.30 and I'll be done by 3.30. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I'll just work until then. <laughs> and then it turns to four. <laughs> And then it turns to 4.30. <laughs> no, he's already an hour late and he said, finish. And I said, okay. And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm kind of a mess. Um, I need to go back to my room and charge my phone. <laughs> Not change, charge my phone. <laughs> it's like his room has the only outlet, outlet. on campus. What the heck? <laughs> so I was like, uh, okay. And so we were going to meet at this place called the Arts Annex. So I was like, just text me when you're leaving, I, gu I guess. I don't yeah. know how much he needed to charge his phone. And so I go to the... 
And then he says, okay, leaving in five. I wait 10 minutes to leave after he mm-hmm. says that because I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be the first one there after what he said. Mm-hmm. Um, so I get on the bus on my way there, um, start walking up the thing. He is not there, <laughs> I would say. Still isn't there. Um, and then I go, I swipe my card to go inside and the door is closed. And I'm like, that's weird. It's not usually closed. It's usually open. And I go inside and I go up to the girl and I was like, oh, hey, um, can I have a canvas and some paints? And she goes, I mean, you can, but we close in 10 minutes. <laughs> Your timing today <laughs> impeccable. Um, um, and that's the only thing we had planned to do. Yeah. Um, and we didn't plan anything around food because I have like food insecurity. Um, and so I text, I message him, and I'm like, "Hey, so they're for sure closing." Um, he was like, he was like. Oh, I just got here and I was like okay and I was like I don't really have any other ideas and I was hoping that it would just we would just call it quits there because I'd yeah. had a day and then he goes how about we get like an early meal and I was like the one thing, the one thing I don't want to do <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I oh I was gonna do this as like a fake cigarette thing that we do but it doesn't really work when it's so like, like one size heavy um so we go to get food and as soon as I meet him at the bus stop I realized he's exactly like this other guy I went on a date with that Holly knows. <laughs> and yeah, Holly also went on a date with. That Holly, for context, also went on a date with. Um, but his mannerisms, the way he, like, ca- he, like, carries himself very much like this, and he talk, he, like, talks like this. Like, <laughs> he, like, he, like, talk, he talks like this. Like, he, like, he says things in, a, like, a very specific way. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever tried that impression. <laughs> but so he so he talks exactly the same. And then he also does this thing where he, he says everything like he's straight faced. And then every once in a while he'll like like smirk, <laughs> like smirk like smirky when like I'm talking or I'll get excited about something, but when he's talking, he's like you know how the other guy is always like very like Yeah. Like he, he was like that too. So that was he was already like this guy that I went on a bad date with. Um and then his only interest <laughs> We're, <laughs> we're engineering, being, being an RA, which is a job that he hates, and programming to make maps. <laughs> Not for anything. He just, just likes to, to make it. maps. Sure. That's the most interesting thing out of all of those things. <laughs> well, it so. is. But I said, what kind of things do you make? And, like, why do you do it? And he's like, oh, you know stuff for fun. <laughs> And then I go, I, 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 like, the thing is, too, is, like, I had to say every question. God, like, that is such a freaking indicator. Every question. Also, also, this is an indicator. I told Holly this already. When we got off the bus, he didn't thank the bus driver. Mm-mm. And that's, like, a big thing for me is, like, I immediately said, thank you so much. And he was behind me. And mm-hmm. he just kept walking. And I was like, oh, no. Mm-mm. A piece of your ice cream just went flying. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhere over in this realm. <laughs> in this realm. <laughs> um, so uh, I so I had to ask all the questions I would ask. Mm-hmm. He would answer. I would elaborate on what my answer would be because he didn't say and you. And then it would just be oh, silent. <laughs> and then I would have to ask another question. Um, so I really had to probe him about the math stuff for him to get to say that he recreated the app that we used to track buses because his wasn't working. Which is, like, insane and so interesting. And I'm like, you're an interesting person. Why can't you just present yourself? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It was kind of a day um, for the <laughs> for me and my dating life. <laughs> me and my love. Oh, my gosh. Well, also, like, I don't know. It's just... Uh, aren't we the only interesting people? In the world? <laughs> just, I don't mean that. It's just, like, the people that I talk to. There's the ice cream. <laughs> oh, there it is. It is. It's right here. <laughs> how did it? How did it travel the distance? How did it go upward? <laughs> and, uh, just the just, art, the mere physics of this. Gravity wise, it should have gone down. <laughs> should I, it is up. <laughs> should I ask the guy to make a map of the traveling of your ice cream truck? Hey, can you have a program? Uh, my friend Spin. <laughs> question thing is a huge thing for me where it's just like a first date is a really fun opportunity if nothing else to get to know someone you otherwise wouldn't know at all wow even if it ends there at least you can leave like having like known 
Get in like, God want to know someone. someone. Yeah. Yeah. And so just like why like I just don't understand how anyone can go into any conversation, let alone a first date, not curious about mm, another person. You that's know? so true. If it's all if you treat it just as like your own personal interview, then like <laughs> Like, go be with yourself, which is also totally fine. <laughs> like, date yourself. Like, that's valid. I don't know. That's a that's a huge thing for me is because all of my... So, I, so I too, have dabbled in Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, have you really? Also, the, it's been sending me because my gelato I'm eating is the same color as their logo. And anytime I would, like, check it to open it up to see, is <laughs> I would always see this color. This is the color of the Bumble app for the listeners, for the, the viewers. <laughs> Yeah, but like all of my conversations are like me, ask question, person, answer, me, a comment on their answer, and then it just stops. <laughs> and I'm like, your <laughs> turn to ask the question. <laughs> your <laughs> turn to be like genuinely interested in me as a person. I was like, I, I was like, I put so many things on my profile. There's, if, even if you don't, even if you're, because I'm not really good at coming up with first questions, even if you're not good at coming up with first questions, I have, I have two truths and a lie. You can ask what the lie is. <laughs> You can ask me about so many things, or just like, like, what's something interesting about you? Or like, <laughs> how was your day? Just, there's, there's just so many options. Plethora of questions out in the world. Dates. I <laughs> and that's really that's 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 the end of that. <laughs> Do you have any um commentary on my date experience? Um, I think uh. <laughs> So I also went on a date with an engineer once that came from a dating app, and... I don't know about this, I don't think. It was my freshman year. Well, maybe I do, yes. And he was a grad student, but I didn't know it at mm. the time, which is a really, like, I, like, age differences don't matter that much to me, but when you're a, like, not first year grad student, like, within the grad program, and a Duke freshman, and it's like, <laughs> Want to go eat on campus and call it a day? <laughs> like, Want to go to Marketplace? <laughs> I can give you a guess why. I mean, we didn't eat at McDonald's, but that's where he met me. <laughs> Which actually is just super fitting into, like, my personality. <laughs> so, like, that's fun. But we, like, said and we started talking, and it was, again, like... The only thing he could talk about was his engineering. Which is, like, I get it, that's your passion. But it's just... And if I was an engineer, then, like, maybe it would yeah I, I don't know what you're talking about um i was like do you want to hear about the acting scene i'm doing <laughs> literally no i was like i was like um he was like what are some things that you're interested in you know asking me a question <laughs> and, <laughs> and i was like i'm really really big into theater and he was like oh well i hate theater but my <gasps> sister plays piano <laughs> interested in theater I, he said first date move you love this i hate it but my sister she plays, plays piano, piano. so like, i know about theater and then Missy. He, was, he was like i'm kind of into photography and i was like oh really and he was like i'm taking some pictures <laughs> i was like so has everyone <laughs> and then he was talking about how in his engineering class they had to do a skit and he was like yeah i was really bad at it God, i just got mango ice cream all over my face oh it's so stinky Yes. What is freezer burn? It's like where, where like if you leave like the top of the ice cream off or something and then it gets like really like it's like you you can freezer burn, burn like pretty much every food but it like crystallizes it like loses its flavor it gets like really gross. What? Yeah and so I have freezer burned ice cream. I see I've heard the term freezer burn so many times. Oh yes I've, I've heard I've heard the term freezer burn but I've never understood how it worked. It's, it's basically the same thing as, like, like actual burning. Like, it's just, like, cold enough temperature can, like, burn you the same way hot temperature can. Whoa! It, like, I don't know in middle school if you ever had. It's not super the same thing, but, like, it, it was a trend in my school where you would put salt on your hand and then an ice cube, and it would, like, burn your skin. <laughs> that was a trend at your school? Oh, it was huge, my dude. <laughs> they said burn tag! 
Literally, we would all sit around and put ice cube and then like hold the ice like down on the salt as much as as long as we could, and then it would leave like welts and burns, and that was freezer burn. Dude, do you remember the cinnamon challenge? That shit's dangerous. <laughs> it's so dangerous. Holly said, "Listen, freezer burn, fine." cinnamon don't no. go there that's <laughs> so dangerous because it can get because it's so drying that if you like accidentally swallow your saliva is like not able to help that process and you can like asphyxiate asphyxiate ex- choke yeah but it's like when yeah As- i mean essentially ex- 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 yeah this is like liza vanelli tries to turn on the lamp but dana and holly try to say asphyxiation the stuff we did in middle school that we thought was so funny, like, people would, like, try and, like, people just thought, like, and make themselves faint, like, I watched the movie Eighth Grade, and when they showed that kid that was, like, flipping up his eyes, I was like, <laughs> yes, sent me back! <laughs> Out of every, like, beautiful, poignant moment of, like, youth in Eighth Grade, that was, it was, like, it all hit, but then that moment I was like, this is real! <laughs> This is so accurate. And then when she goes during the, like, the drill, and she, like, crawls over to the guy under the desk, and she's like, yeah, oops, I just accidentally, like, opened up my nudes. (laughs) (laughs) And he's not paying her any attention. She's like, oh, this is so embarrassing. And he's like... (laughs) Yeah, and we can react to it. to (laughs) it. <laughs> Thank you, Holly. I was feeling really good about my self esteem today, and uh, I just really think that your reenactment of that really helped. <laughs> it's really bad too, because I also like when our, in our Duke Gar- in the Duke Gardens video I have, I ch- I choke on the hot chocolate I drink because I I took a big I I like because I was filming I didn't think about it, and I was also really self conscious that I was filming. Like, I had to drink out of my non-dominant hand, mm. so I was like, I'll just do a little sip, but then as soon as I started, I was like, for the camera, and I, like, took a sip, and it went straight to the back of my throat and was scalding oh, hot, and I was like, <laughs> 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 Because we were talking about freezing. <laughs> <laughs> when you have Hi, to explain we're single. Drink, it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't you an enemy? <laughs> Why don't I have a significant other? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Um, that's my top. I love that you knew what I said. Oh, here, here. I got, I got. You got it. I got it. Okay, so uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> Oh, really quick, can I ask you, what's, is there anything on the horizon for you? How are you feeling about your daily life? <laughs> no, I just wanted to ask. I thought it'd be a cute wrap-up. It would be a cute wrap-up. Yeah, just <laughs> exploring options. <laughs> that was like I have options. <laughs> what is happening? What is happening? <gasps> That's the biggest f***ing lie I've ever told. <laughs> just exploring <laughs> options. I sort of woke up uh, a couple mornings ago feeling like a total like badass mm. and then <laughs> I shared this playlist with Dana but it's a playlist called I don't need them or like you don't need them yeah and it's basically just about like like I know so many people are like I'm just focusing on myself right now and that's not necessarily true but I think it's so important to be like I freaking love myself and I'm yeah. ready to share myself with someone, someone. But also, I'm like super loving sharing myself with myself. You yeah, know? that's so true. Cause I used to be so good about being in the mindset of like, oh, I'm here for myself. I'm doing this for myself. Mm-hmm. I'm doing mm-hmm. like, but it, it's so hard. I actually the party that we went to the holiday party we went to on Saturday. Um, that was the first time where I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go have fun with my friends and look hot for me. And it was it was so fun. Exactly. I think that was one of my favorite parties because I had this sort of like screw it sort of like mentality (laughs) where I'm just like I'm just gonna like dance with the people that I care about yeah and like I have one more semester to be with like my friends Mm. on campus and it's just like why would I waste that time I was hoping it would fly out. It didn't. <laughs> uh, so this has been a little chat with Holly. We just wanted to do, especially because I had all of this like romantic stuff today, to do a little like ice cream talk about like <laughs> like dating stuff um, and like relationships and all of that. So thank you, thank you, uh, Holly, my special guest, for um, partaking and having fun. 
and being on my channel. Also, go subscribe to Holly. Her um, link will be in the description as always. Yay. 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 <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Up to. I'm getting some juice selections. <laughs> and what's on your head? Green tea ice cream. <laughs> For sure. Uh huh. Hey, Benson, how are you, Ashley? Oh, oh, I thought that was Carly Rae Jepsen. Wow. What? Carol, do you want to split? Wait. 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 Good night guys. I hope you enjoyed day 10. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Good night.